Hello, hello. Hello, students. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Well, it is a pleasure to see you once again, to be here with you, and for sure to have the opportunity to see you and to share another night with you. Welcome. How was your day, my dear students? Remember yesterday we practiced how to answer. It was good. It was good, very nice. It was good. How was your day, Elizabeth? Uh, good evening, Miss. Hello. My day is uh, tidying. Tidying, my day was tidying. Hey, I like your hair. It looks different today. Su cabello, hoy se ve diferente, está muy lindo. <laughs> yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, but it looks very beautiful. Welcome, Rosario. Welcome, Iris, Gabriela, Mr. Arvin. Hey, you are back. Uh, Maximo, hello, Maritza, Esmeralda, Maricela, and well, for me, it's a pleasure to see you once again. Today, we are going to go and work on the homework first, the homework that I assigned you yesterday. Then we are going to finish working with that section. And we are going to start talking about professions and occupations. That it's our section number three. Okay. In some cases, or uh, conferences are a little bit different from the platform, but it's good that you advance as much as possible on the platform as well. Okay. So today we are going to start checking the homework, and then we are going to continue with the professions and occupations. That is the topic for the night. Okay. Great, let me see. I am going to open my presentation for everybody and we're going to start working, okay? So all of you received the pictures. They were kind of curious because they had some things uh, and maybe others didn't have anything, right? But it was a very nice way to practice. So uh, this is the picture that I sent you yesterday for you to practice. And you have some questions for uh, yes or no, do and does, okay? And according to the picture that you have here, it is uh, how we are going to answer, right? Based on the picture, we are going to answer the questions that we have here. This is our picture, right? And uh, in the picture, we have different objects. What objects can you see in the picture? Use there is and there are for the answer. There is a television. There is a television. There is a, a curtain. Uh -huh. Cur okay, curtain. It's curious because curtain, if it is only one, it's curtain. But in this case, you have two. So you say there are curtains. They are Okay. Good. There are books. There are books. Very good. What else? There are pictures. There are pictures. Very good. What else can you see? On the floor? What can you there see? Is, there is a rug. There is a rug. Very good. A rug. Very nice. What else can you see in the picture? We have books, pictures, curtains. There the, is a window. There is a window. Very good. For curtains, you need a window, right? Or in El Salvador, it works as a door as well. So there is a picture. There is a window, a TV, and the rug. So according to the questions, we are going to go and answer. 
Iris is going to help me with the first answer. Does she need curtains? Yes, she does, or no, she doesn't? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she, no, she doesn't. Ooh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, no, she doesn't. Number three. Let's go with Elizabeth. Does she need a sofa? Yes, she does. Miss Elizabeth, does she need a sofa? Yes, she does. Yes, she does because she's on the floor, right? Yes, she does. Mr. Arbing, does she have an armchair? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, right? Because she's on the floor. No, she doesn't. Yeah. Good. Yes, does. Thank you. Yeah, she needs one. Esmeralda, does she have a rug? No, she doesn't. A rug? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes she does. Okay, it's a rug, right? Yes, she does. She has a rug. Does she have a rug? Yes, she does. And let's go with Juan Hernandez. Does she need pictures? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, right? She has many, right? No, she doesn't. Okay, let's continue here. Very good for my volunteers on the first picture. Let's go with the next one, right? I sent you the other one about a couple, right? Remember that we are going to complete the sentences with there is and there are. But in this case, we are not going to use she. We are going to use they, okay? And we're going to start with uh, Rosario. Do they have a lamp? Uh, yes. 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 Two people, they. Uh -huh. Si no estamos incluidos nosotros es they. Si they. estamos incluidos, we. Yes, they. They do. have. No, do. Yes, they do. Because of the question, right? Because you have yes. do they. Yes. Okay, before we continue, what objects can you see in the picture? What objects do you see? There is. Pizza. There is pizza. <laughs> There's pizza, right? There is pizza. What else? There is a clock. a clock. There is a clock. Good. I don't know if there is a window or <laughs> there, there is a mirror. Picture. No, there is a there is a window. Yeah, there is a window. There is a lamp. There is a lamp. Good. A lamp. And only that. There is a juice. There is there is a well, there are juice cans, right? Juice. But I think they are sodas. Or, or I don't know, maybe they are, okay, let's say, they are drinking. There are drinks, you can say. If you don't know, okay. if you don't know if it is juice, soda, whiskey, Coca-Cola, whatever, there are drinks, okay? Okay. And that's the only thing that they have. And they have their love. Ay, y tienen el amor de los dos porque no tienen nada. <laughs> and that's enough. Do they need a table? Uh, Gabriela, do they need a table? Yes. Yes, they do. Yes. yes. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, right? Because they are on the floor. Yes, they do. The next one. Uh, Mr. Luis, do they have chairs? No, they do. No? Okay. In this case, say no. They... What is the negative? They don't. No, they don't. Very good. Omar Duran, do they need a clock? Um, uh, do they need a clock? Uh, yes, they do. Do they need a clock? Necesitan un reloj? Sorry. No, no, they don't. don't. No, they don't because they have it already, right? And a big one. No, they don't. If they take that one to the cornucopia, maybe they can have a sofa, a TV, and, and all the other things. <laughs> the next one, Mr. Maximo, do they have a mirror? 
Yes, they do. A mirror. Where? Donde tienen el Ah, <laughs> no. They don't. They don't. No, they don't, right? That's the, the, the print screen. No, they don't, right? No, comma. They. That's a window. No, they don't. The next one. Uh, for Maritza Mendoza, do they need curtains? Mm. Yes, they do. Yes, they do, right? Yes, they do because they have only the window. Yes. Yes, they do. Okay, and there you have it. Okay, si ya compararon sus respuestas con sus ejercicios ahí, para que vean que vamos correctos. And we are going to do the last exercise. We are going to do the last exercise on the practice that it's the paragraph, right? On this paragraph, let me erase my pictures. On this paragraph, what we are supposed to do is to complete the sentences with there is, there are, there isn't, or there aren't. In this case, we have, in Roger's house, there is a big living room, okay? There, and we have here two bedrooms. R. Exactly. R. Because this is plural, right? R. R. Me sentí como Katy Perry. R. R. There you go. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. No yard, it says here. There is. There is no yard, right? There is no yard. But there, a balcony. Is. There is, right? Because balcony is singular. There is a balcony. He has a lot of books. So there are bookcases in the living room. Are. Are. Yeah. Are some. There are. are. We can say there are some or there are. That's pretty good. There are some bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. There, any chairs in the kitchen? Are, aren't. 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 Aren't, because it's negative, aren't. right? There aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there, a is. big table. Is. There is. There is. There is. A big table with chairs in the dining room. There, a stove in the kitchen. Is. There is. There is, there is right? There is a stove in the kitchen, but there a microwave oven. Is there are there aren't. Okay, microwave there oven is, is only one. Is. 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 is isn't. There isn't. Why? Because you have but. Cuando tenemos la palabra but, vamos a contrarrestar. Si la primera era positiva, entonces esta es negativa. Si la primera es negativa, la siguiente va a ser positiva. Porque aquí es el tan temido. Pero, right? Say, there is a stove in the kitchen, but there isn't a microwave oven, right? And it says, there are two televisions. There uh, are. There are, because we have plural. There are two televisions in Roger's house. There, one Wait, television. There is. There, there is. Sure. Yes. Sure. Yes, Maxima. Can I say there isn't a stop in the kitchen, but there is a microwave oven? Uh huh. It can be. So you can say there isn't a stop in the kitchen, but there is a microwave oven. Lo que les explicaba. Si la primera es negativa, la segunda es positiva, o lo contrario. Okay. Ahí lo que le quieran quitar al, al muchacho. Si le quieren quitar la cocina o el microondas. <laughs> you decide. There is a, there is one television. Aquí procuremos siempre. Don't say there is a one. Okay, there is a one is not possible because you say Ay, hay un una. Uh -huh. There is one television. Si ya tienen aquí el número, you don't need a. There is one television in the living room and there is, is. and there is one television in the bedroom. Very good. So we are going to divide the paragraph in three sections, right? We are going to divide the paragraph in this first section. Then we are going to go 
in this other section. And we are going to finish with this section, okay? We have three sections. I need three volunteers to read the paragraph. I, and so, I teach. Luis is one, another one. Some more? No le tengan miedo. Todos aprendemos. Luis is the first one. Another one. Volunteers. Cinco, cuatro. Ah, Arvin. Tres, dos, uno. One more, one more, one more. Yummies. Okay. Elizabeth. Or Edith. Okay, Elizabeth and Edith, you are going to read it again. Don't worry. I have four volunteers. That's fantastic. I have Elizabeth, I have Luis, I have Edith and Arvin. Good. Okay, so Luis is going to start with the first paragraph, then Arvin with the second one, Elizabeth with the third one. Uh, we're going to have Iris with the first one. Iris comienza de nuevo con el número uno. Rosario, number two. And Gabriela, help me with number three, okay? Thank you. Lo vamos a leer dos veces entonces. Luis, go ahead. Okay. In Robert's house, there is a big living room. There are two bedrooms and two bathrooms. There is no yard, but there is a balcony. He has a lot of books. Okay, thank you. Arvin. So there are some bookcases in the living room and bedrooms. There aren't any chairs in the kitchen, but there is a big table with, with, with chairs in the dining room. There is a stove in the kitchen, but there isn't a microwave. Very good, continue. There are two television in Royal House. There is one television in the living room and there is one television in the bedroom. Very good. We have television, television. Very good job. Thank you, group number one. You did it very well. Let's start. It is, go ahead. In Royal House, there is a big living room. There are two bed bedrooms and to bathroom, there is no chair, but there is a balcony. He has a lot of books. He has a lot of books. Very good. Rosario, continue. So there are some bookcase in the living room and bedroom by are and chairs in the kitchen, but there is a big table that table with Chairs in the dining room, there is uh, in the kitchen, but there is a microscope. Thank you, Gabriela. Gabrielita, go ahead. May I? <laughs> go ahead, please. Thank you. Go for it. Okay, Oven. There are two televisions in Roger's house. There is uh, one television in the living room and there is one television in the bedroom. Very good job. Thank you, group number two. You did it very well, very well. We have some pronunciation corrections. Uh, when you have, he has, he has a lot of books. It is important that when we have the plural forms like this ones, right? When we have the plural forms like this ones, that you have books, right? Bedrooms, you have to make it very clear, right? Bedrooms, books, bookcases, bookcases. We have to mark it there. Sorry for my... <laughs> The next one, this is but, but. Okay, this is not boot, it's but. Yeah, you see, I have a little dog, right? Un pequeño dinosaurio como tipo pony. Por eso se le It's a very big dog. And we have here dining room. Dining room. It's not dining room, it's dining room. This one is stove. 
stop. Okay, stop. But, okay, but televisions. And there is a one television. No, you say there is one television, right? We need to keep it in mind. But in general, you did a very good job, or you did a very, very, very excellent job reading. Fantastic job, my dear students. And for sure, all of you deserve a very, very big start because you did it fantastic. Excellent. We are going to continue with this. Let's go over here. Let me just erase my pictures. And we are going to continue with the last exercise of this topic. As you can see here, we have a very crazy picture. What is the problem with the picture? And what you are going to do with this, you are going to analyze it. And you are going to tell me, teacher, there is a table in the dining room, but there are no chairs. Okay. Or what you can see that it's incorrect, right? Here in the living room. What it's incorrect in the living room, what it's incorrect in the kitchen, what is incorrect in the bathroom, and what is incorrect in the bedroom. Analyze the picture and tell me what are some problems that you can see here? The Analyze. refrigerator bedroom. Uh -huh. The refrigerator? Yeah. The kitchen. Uh... In the bedrooms. So you say, teacher, there is a refrigerator in the bedroom. Okay. Okay, good. What is wrong with the picture? Uh, uh -huh. There are sofas in the bathroom. There are sofas in the bathroom, right? Very comfortable, right? Uh -huh. Teacher, there is, bed. there is bed in the kitchen. Okay, there is a bed in the kitchen. Elizabeth, what was your sentence? <laughs> no importa, repito. La conexión. <laughs> conexión. <laughs> there is a bed <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> I don't know who has the story of the Tengereche. There you go. I found it. <laughs> Sí, no, no sé quién tenía la historia del Tengarechay, pero lo silencié a todos. <laughs> That was interesting, quite interesting. There is a bed in the kitchen, right? There are sofas in the bathroom. What is the problem with the bedroom? Re, re, fri, re, fri. Ay, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Pero... Refrigerator. 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 Teacher, there is the re... Ay, ¿cómo es? Okay, fridge. Es más fácil. Fridge. Fridge. Fridge in the bedroom. There is a fridge in the bedroom. Good. Another problem. What is the problem in the living room? What is the problem in the living room? There is a, a stove. There is a stove, right? There is a stove in the living room. The living yeah. room. If you like cooking and watching TV, maybe. Uh, fácil. <laughs> it's easier. Okay, but what about this one? We don't have any table because look at the stereo. The stereo is on the floor. There isn't a table, right? Tell me things that you cannot see in the picture. What are things a television. that- Aha, uh -huh, there isn't a television. What there else? There isn't a television. There, there aren't there pictures. A... There aren't pictures. There isn't a mirror. There isn't a mirror, good. There aren't windows. There aren't windows. <laughs> yeah, it's a very little one. Yeah, here. Yeah, it's right here. There aren't chairs, right? There aren't chairs in the dining room, right? Maybe they are Japanese and they sit on the floor. <laughs> Another one. What is something that we don't have? 
a closet. There is no closet, right? There is no closet. And let me see. Well, there's no TV. And in the bedroom? A bed? Uh -huh. There isn't a bed. There isn't a bed. There isn't a clock. There isn't a clock, right? But it's on the kitchen, imagine. How crazy. Well, so it is interesting that we had the chance to analyze the pictures, right? Here in El Salvador, it is very curious that we have things that we are not supposed to have in the rooms. ¿Qué es algo que no tendría que estar ahí, pero ahí lo tienen en su casa? Uh -huh. Think about it. Vamos a ver a alguien que salga con algo que tiene donde no tiene que estar. <laughs> Or everything is organized. Creo que yeah. el, el, la ducha uh -huh. está en el mismo baño. Uh, there is a shower. In... Ah, ok. It's, it's the Pero toilet. He visto, otra, otra. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He visto it's... otras casas que las tienen separadas. Okay, the toilet and the shower are together. I think in my house too. Yes, the toilet and the shower are together. Let me see. Um, what is something that I have here that I am not supposed to have? There is a television in the office and I am not supposed to have a television here. <laughs> watching TV, working, working and watching TV. And I'll break. Uh -huh, during the break, during the break, only on the break. Let me see. No, I think I have. Yeah, well, there are plants in the living room. Oh, oh But... I, I have a, a washer clothes uh -huh. in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> because it's the same room. <laughs> okay. There is a washing machine. There is a washing machine in washing the kitchen. Machine. So you can cook and wash at the same time. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. That's cool. Bien. You finish, right? No, Teacher, no, no, no. Es zapatera, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? The shoes cabinet. Well, yeah, I have a shoes cabinet on the door because of COVID. <laughs> eh, the shoes cabinet, cabinet in living room. In the living room, there is a shoes cabinet in the living room. Now with the pandemic and all the, the security protocol, I have also a shoes cabinet in the living room. Thank you very much. So I can see that your houses are very organized. That is very nice. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Where is a sofa? In the kitchen. A sofa in the kitchen, really? Yes. How nice. <laughs> Cocina como Dani. My, my mom. That's pretty cool, right? I, aquí va a ser el chimol. <laughs> on the sofa. <laughs> I love it. I need a sofa in the kitchen, but my kitchen is very small. Well, thank you. Thank you, my dear students. De todos los grupos que me han tocado, ustedes son el mejor de nada. I can tell you. <laughs> I have here a little reading, right? I have here a little reading that it's about two different houses that are very, very strange. One that is very beautiful and colorful and one that it's very particular. As you can see this one, it's very beautiful and colorful. But what about this one? This is a very strange house, right? If you had the opportunity to visit, which one would you visit? The colorful one or the strange one? ¿Cuál visitaran ustedes? Si les dijeran, pueden ir a cualquiera de las dos. Would you go to the, the colorful one or to the yes. strange one? The strange one. The strange one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Because you never know what is inside, right? Like yeah. the like they lose in Cerro Verde. I don't know if you have ever visited them. In in Cerro Verde, there are some igloos like these ones but they are like, it's like a little hotel, right? That you can visit. No me pagan nada por ese comercial. But it's very interesting. So here we have, 
I need you to analyze the two readings that we have here and tell me if you have new vocabulary or new words that you don't recognize. Okay, do you have any new word or new vocabulary? I am going to go over the reading and if you have any question, you can tell me, okay? I am going to make this one a little bit bigger so we can go and read this one first. I am going to move this one. I am going to focus on this one. In San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. The house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Mrs. Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink, and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Cisneros' house are white or beige, so her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful but Mrs. Cisneros loves it. New vocabulary, new words. I porch. think. Porch Where is the porch? Como la grada, ¿verdad? Yeah, the entrance. La entrada. Excellent. Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, where is Bye. it? Was uh, mixing Mexican American? Mexican American writer, Ajá, writer, era. escritora. Where is a porch? <laughs> the porch is the entrance, es la entrada, como el recibidor de la casa, okay. donde ella está sentada. Colorful. Colorful, full of color, llena de color. Yeah, colorful, full of color. Right? Ne Neighbors. Neighbors. Vecinos. Vecinos. Neighbors, yes. Neighbors. Think. Think. Yeah, so. Her neighbors think her house is too colorful. It's like, whoosh, too many colors. Uh, piensan que tiene muchos colores, como siempre criticando. Yeah. Los vecinos. Yeah, no pueden ver ojos bonitos en Carajan. <laughs> <laughs> they think her house is too colorful. Another one. Paintings Painting. are uh, exactly very good. Pinturas, right? Colorful paintings. Uh, white or beige are the colors of the other houses, right? She is a Mexican American writer. Es una escritora. It will be like um, Mexico Americana. It's like he, she has the two nationalities. And um, the house has a porch. The porch is this part of the house where she's sent, where, where she's sitting. Ese que está aquí donde ella está sentada es el porch, el portico. Right? There you have. And here we go. This is the first house. Let's go with the second one. We're going to go with the second one. I am going to make this one smaller. And we're going to bring the next one, the strange one. Okay, here we go. Whee. I am going to make this one bigger for you to see it. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. That's the name of the houses, Hogan's. Okay. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor and a wood burning stub. Mrs. Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Questions? A good wood burning stove is uh, como chimenea. Mm, that would be cocina de leña. Oh, okay. Because it's a stove, a wood burning stove. Okay. Yes. Wood burning es que le pones trozos de leña, right? Wood es leña. Wood burning stove. 
Any other question? Questions, questions, my dear students? Tribes, tribus, Tribe. right? Tribus. Yeah. Hogan's is the name of the houses. So, what objects can you find in the Hogan's? ¿Qué objetos podemos encontrar ahí? Three chairs. chairs. Three chairs. Two beds. And one the floor. Okay, two beds on the floor. Two beds on the floor significa que no tienen patas. Están en el suelo. Two beds on the floor. In a wood burning stove. So she has mm -hmm. only these three things. Three chairs, two beds, and the stove. That is all the things that you can find in this house. And what about... I like living in Hogan's. Yes, they are very simple, right? They are very simple, small, and they welcome. Economic. They are very economic, right? <laughs> Low maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> and in this one, in Mrs. Cisneros house, we have books, paintings, and you have many different uh, rooms, right? Because we have a green room, a pink room, and a purple room with books and paintings. And for sure she has all the other stuff. So now, which one is your favorite? The Hogan or the Colorful House? The Hogan. The Hogan, right? <laughs> I would like to visit the Hogan. It sounds interesting. The two of them. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver la capacidad comprensiva que tenemos. Chen, chen, chen. Tell me, three chairs in Sandra Cisneros or in the Hogan? Sandra Cisnero. Where can you find the three chairs? The Hogan. In the Hogan. The Hogan. In the Hogan. Many books? In Sandra, Sandra Cisneros. Cisnero. Sandra Cisneros house. Colorful paintings? In Sandra, Sandra Cisneros Cisnero house. house. A porch with a pink floor? Sandra, Sandra Cisneros. Cisneros house. Two Two beds on the floor? In the house. In the Hogan. In the Hogan. In the wood burning stuff? In the Hogan. In the Hogan. Good. Very good. You see, huh? I was like to see if you were paying attention to my presentation. Yeah. Tiger. Quieto, tigre. Quieto. Okay. We are going to go over here. And I am going to move forward on to the next topic. Let me see, let me share my presentation again. Here I go. Okay, now that we finished with the is, there are the houses, the objects and everything, we're going to go to the next section that it's professions and occupations. What professions and occupations do you know? I am going to send you to working groups for you to get vocabulary, okay? Okay, thank you very much. We're going to, we're going to go in working groups. You are going to get vocabulary, okay? En los grupos, lo que vamos a hacer es colectar vocabulario acerca de professions and occupations. Y cuando vengamos, lo vamos a compartir con todos, okay? Only three minutes on the groups. So let's get ready to go and work. Vocabulary about professions and occupations. No vayan a googlearlo, eh, van a salir con profesiones así super, super rebuscadas. Use the ones that you know and collect from your friends, okay? Aquí vamos a hacer survivor mode. Let's go to the groups right now. Let's go and get vocabulary. Yeah, we have four people in each group. Go, 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 accept my invitation. There you go. Thank you, my dear students. Accept my invitation to go to the different groups. Excellent. I am missing Maritza and Omar. Thank you. 
Omar and Marixa, have you received the invitation? Chicos, recibieron la invitación para unirse a los grupos. Thank you. And Omar is missing. There you go. So uh, students are in the groups right now. They are collecting vocabulary as about the topic, professions and occupations. We are going to go and check on the different groups to see how they are doing it, okay? Let's enter to the first group. Laundry, yes. laundry, abogado. Lawyer. Mm -hmm. Abogado. Abogado. Pilot. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, pilot. Mm -hmm. Pilot. Pilot es el marcado. Pilot. Pilot. Sí, pero sí escribe pilot. Yes. Pilot. ¿Se acuerdan? ¿Se acuerdan cuando íbamos a la escuela que estábamos chiquitos? Decíamos los pilots, decíamos. Esos son los marcadores. The pilot, the pilot. Continue. The pilot. <laughs> A chef. 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 Um, uh, waiter, waitress. Waitress sería. Waiter es mesero. Y waitress creo que es mesera. Builder. Uh, architect Norse Vamos anotándolas ahí porque si no nos va a agarrar en curva cuando empecemos a compartir entre todos. Okay, teacher. Y les diga grupo número dos. I didn't write anything. Copy them. Go ahead, go ahead. Están también Hunter, que son los cazadores. Ah, Hunter. Ah, sí, tienes razón. Cazador. Eh... Dice? Sacerdote o padre. Ah, él es... Creo que... Priest. Priest. Padre. P R I E S T. Priest. 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 Oh. Ya. Yeah. Solo a ustedes los vine a ayudar. Mira, los demás ahí los he dejado. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Continue. Continue. Remember to write them down. The common ones and the not very common ones. Okay. Continue. Okay. Um, artist. A, uh -huh. an artist, Art a musician, uh -huh. um, el jardinero, bro. Gar a gardener, garden, garden, <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice veterinario en inglés? Bet. Bet. Just like that. Bet. B E T. Bet. Bet. Or it can be a veterinarian, but it's just bet is easy. Okay. Okay. We have one more minute. Let's uh, continue and we're about to go out. Okay. Mechanic. Who's to enter? He's saying mechanic. <laughs> exactly in the in the grammar. Siempre entra en el mal momento. Justo aquí en la pronunciación, baby. Bueno, pero mejor porque nos corrige, teacher. Me corrige. <laughs> yeah, because right, right, yeah, right before I enter in the pilot and now in the mechanic. <laughs> but it's y siempre yo. Y siempre yo. Ah, yeah, sorry. Yeah, but it's good. We learn together. We learn together. Mechanic. 
Mechanic. Mechanic. Right. Good. Mechanic. Manager. 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 Yeah. Manager. 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 Yes. Y yo estudié mecánico y no trabajo de eso. <laughs> a coach, a coach is a person who trains, right? A person who trains. In the in the English classes, it's curious that they say, coach, look, look this and this and this. And a coach is a person that knows English, but it's not a teacher by profession. And a teacher is a person who has studied English. Okay. Siempre le dicen, mire coach, mire coach, cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés. Y el coach es el que aprendió así, pero no tiene la profesión de inglés. Yeah, it's like, yeah, they're okay. like, ahora ya todo el mundo. Le dicen coach, 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 coach. Ya sea teacher o normal, or it's a coach, a trainer. A trainer could be the same. Yes, it could be the same as well. But uh, it is very common to say miss or teacher for you not to have any problem. Well, let's go back to the main session. Let's go. I see, I remember mechanic and pilot. Very, pilot. <laughs> very good job, the pilot. <laughs> well, I think I have some. Currently, I have some pilot, right? <laughs> Gracias. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> That's for you to remember it forever. <laughs> and Juan is laughing, you see. Hi, Juan. Juan, oh, igualito. Juan enjoys the moment. <laughs> He's laughing. Okay, good. My dear students, let's work on the professions and occupations. What are some of the vocabulary that you collected? We are going to use the board, right? for us to write it down. I don't know if you have the options to write. Tienen en sus aplicaciones, no sé si tienen el lapicito. No sé si tienen en, el, en su aplicación de Zoom un lápiz. Sí. Entonces, yes. ese les puede servir para escribir aquí. O si tienen el texto, pues lo ponen con texto. Vamos a colaborar entre todos ahí. Y los que no la puedan hacer en la pizarra, en el chat. Y los que no la puedan hacer en el chat, en el WhatsApp. Ok, vamos a coleccionar vocabulario. Go, 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 go. Ya que no me salió bonito. No sé It's ok. Go ahead. Arvin is writing. A trainer. Good, very good. <laughs> The pilot. <laughs> Good. Write more. I need you to write more. If not, on the chat. And if not, on the WhatsApp group. I will write the most beautiful one here. A teacher. Okay. I have some more in the chat. Manager, doctor, nurse. A judge. Good. Biologist, dentist, secretary, very good. I am receiving many there in the chat. You can send in the WhatsApp group as well, Don't pro no problem. A chef, very good, very good. A cashier, excellent. An actor, a cook or a chef, okay, a chef. A surveyor. A person who uh, works doing surveys, a lawyer, a chef, good, very good. A policeman, excellent. A policeman, excellent, very good job. Very nice, very nice. I have many, many, many on the chat. A baker, a model, a doctor, excellent. Fantastic job, my students. Okay, very good job. Luis is writing another one. A cashier. Good. And I keep receiving on the chat. A teleoperator. Good. Nurse. A waiter. Very good. This one, teleoperator. A teleoperator, it's a person who answers calls. No, Juan works. Ah, he works like that. Yes. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> oh, do you know each other? Se conocen? 
del grupo del módulo anterior. Oh, cool, cool, very good. Okay, I have a doctor in accountant and economist. Accountant, you know, I studied to be an accountant in the what, what is in the cashier. A cashier, a person who charges in the supermarket or in the store, oh. the person who, who passes your objects like beep, beep, beep. Oh. Yeah, if you go to if you go to the supermarket, it's like beep, 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 beep. <laughs> and the person who is packing is like <laughs> teacher, no yeah. se escribe así, ingeniero, engineer. Engineer, right with E. It's with E. I am going to write it here. Engineer. Uh, okay. Right, engineer. Thanks. A designer and a teacher. Very good, Maricela. Excellent. So, fantastic job. Very good, my dear students. We have a very nice collection of vocabulary. Very good collection, the one that we got about the professions and occupations. I am going to go. I am going to go and I am going to stop sharing here because we are going to have a little plenary and we are going to share. What is your profession or occupation? I am auxiliary of operate. Okay, I am an auxiliary of operations. In this case, you say this is an operations auxiliary. Y eso voy buscando, ser el operario. Hey, that's good. So you are an operations auxiliary. Good, good. Let me see. Elizabeth, what is your profession or occupation? My occupation is oper oh, oper operator. You are an operator. Good, very good. Do you work? You work in a factory or where? Yes. yes. Okay. Good, very good. Gabriela, what is your profession or occupation? I think Gabriela is frozen. Let it go, let it go. She's frozen. Rosario, what is your profession or occupation? Uh, operari is a uh, winery. You are an, okay, you work as an operator, where? A donde, a donde trabaja? Eh, trabajo en Editorial Jurídica Salvadoreña en una imprenta. Ah, yeah, you told me the other day, right? You, you work with papers and, and books and stuff, right? Yes, yes, yes. Very good, very good. Uh, Iris, what is your profession or occupation? I control calidad. Ah, uh, you are a quality controller. The quality control person in charge. Arvin, what is your profession? I'm a rec recruit recruiter. 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 Okay. Very good. Did you study psychology? Yes. Ah, okay, good, very good. Because I have two friends that are recruiters as well. <laughs> Thank you. Patricia, what is your profession? Mm, uh, I am a vendedora in showroom. You are, uh, okay, una vendedora en? Showroom, mostrador. Oh, okay. Um, You can say I am, well, you are a seller. You can be a seller. Or um, maybe you are the, the person who attends the store, right? But you are a seller, that's okay, that's a seller. Juan, what is your profession? Uh, teleoperator. You are a teleoperator, for sure, Esmeralda. What is your profession? I am, no, I am inspector. I am an inspector, really, where? <laughs> Esmeralda, where do you work? Donde? In Intradesa. Oh, but uh, that's that's the name of your profession, inspectora. Así es su, así es su, su cargo. Así es su cargo, <laughs> yes. inspectora. Yes. yes. 
Creo que es como supervisora. Yeah. Yo uh -huh. trabajé un tiempo ahí. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. you're a supervisor. Sí, es another level, Luis, es another level, Esmeralda. <risa> Maristela. Es de control de calidad también. Another level, darle, another level. And I am a teacher. <risa> Maristela, tell me. Uh, I am accounting assistant. You are an accountant assistant. Good, very yes. good. Maximo, what is your profession? I am engineer. I am an engineer. Good. Omar, what is your profession? Mr. Omar. Señor Omar, what is your profession? Mr. Omar. Okay. Maritza, what is your profession? Maritza Mendoza. What is your profession? Ah, se me fueron a comprar pupusas. Ya lo pido. Ahí cuando vengan, ahí les dicen que los anduve buscando. <laughs> Gabriela, what is your profession? My profession is aircraft production planner. Again, wait. Uh -huh. Aircraft production planner. In, in, in Spanish, in good Salvadorian. Aircraft, aircraft. Do you work in, a, uh, where do you work? A donde trabaja? Aeroman. In Aeroman. Oh, wow. Oh. Fantastic. Hey, <laughs> one. Another one. Hey. Yo he metido, yo he metido cinco currículum y nada en Aeroman. <clears throat> Ahora ya, mira. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult, but it's good. <laughs> it's good that you are learning English because that is going to help you a lot to enter to Ironman. Fantastic. Very, very nice job. Wow, Gabriela. It's interesting. It's the first time that I listen to that, but it's very, very nice. So tell me, if you had the opportunity to be something different, what would you be? Si tuvieran oportunidad de escoger otra profesión, ¿cuál hubieran escogido? And just Ingen random. Engineer. Me gusta ese trabajo, esa I, profesión también. I like that one. Uh -huh. yes. You know, I would a really musician. love a what? A musician. A musician. Yeah. How do you say what, Elizabeth? How do you say profession? Trabajadora social, social worker. Social. Or do you say psicólogo? A teacher. I don't know the a teacher in English. An English teacher, a psychologist, you say, a psychologist. Yes, I would like to be a psychologist or English teacher. Uh, I like to, to, <laughs> to help people. That's fantastic. You know, I would love to be a veterinarian. Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> I really love, but I love my profession. I love being a teacher. I have been here the middle of my life. He estado aquí la mitad de mi vida y creo que va a estar la otra mitad. So, yeah, <laughs> it, it is beautiful. I really, really love. Because when you are a teacher, you are all the other professions in one. And that's, that's really fantastic. Well, so you see, you were covering ex exactly the topic for the professions and occupations that I was going to cover with you today. I have here many different jobs, right? I, ha I have here many different jobs in the vocabulary, but I wanted you to go over your own vocabulary. And many of these ones were mentioned <coughs> by you, okay? Casi todos ustedes lo sacaron en su propio vocabulario. Cashier, cook, chef, doctor, Flight attendant, ese otro me gusta, flight attendant, eh, judge, Pilo. lawyer, musician, nurse, pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, salesperson es vendedora, right? So this is another one, salesperson, oh, okay. security, salesperson. security guard, singer, waiter, waitress, right? Here we have the 
uh, different professions. In, in the picture, in the picture, what is the first profession that you have here? What do you think this one is? What nurse. profession? Nurse, good. What else can you see there? A nurse? A doctor. A doctor and a? And a receptionist. A receptionist. What about number four and five? A pilot. A pilot. A pilot. And? Uh, flight attendant. A flight, flight attendant. attendant. Number six? Musician. Uh, musician. A musician. Musician. Right? Singer. 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 Number eight? Yeah. Judge. A judge. Judge. Yeah. Number no. nine? Police no. officer. A police, police officer. officer. And a? Liar. And liar. a liar. Lawyer. Lawyer. <laughs> a liar. 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 Security cashier. guard uh, and a cashier. Very good job, right? A security guard and a cashier. Thank well, you. my dear students, time flies when we are having fun. Definitivamente. El tiempo vuela cuando nos estamos divirtiendo y aprendemos. Yes. It is all for today. I am going to see you tomorrow for our final class of the week. And please, I am going to send you some topics for you to review. Siempre les dejo tarea, así que no se van a salvar ahora. Ahí se las mando un ratito. Have a beautiful night okay. and I'm going to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, friends. Good night, my dear students. Bye bye. Good night.